I, I should have gone to more festival like Nameless this summer. I should have gone out. I should have done crazy shit. Why didn't I fucking do it? You can attach meaning to your life, but that meaning is yours and yours alone. It's not objective. It's not an absolute. What up, guys? Gianke here. Another video today, and uh, I hope you like last last week's video, uh, my montage that just fucking came out with like fucking hours of fucking editing I had to do to fucking finish it. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a preview uh, right there. Um, a link at the end of the video, you'll be able to see it. You know, right now, uh, the summer is over type of thing. So I guess the festivals are kind of slowing down. Now people are back to work. Um, they ended their vac vacations. Um, and you know, obviously, depending on where you live, I don't know, maybe you're already on vacation. Maybe you're already living your life. Maybe you're already living an amazing fucking life right now that you, you know you don't need to worry about when's your next vacation. Or maybe maybe you have no vacation at all because you you work so hard or whatever. You're stuck in a dead end job type of thing and you don't know how to get out of there. And you're missing out on things because you have to do things, right? You know, it's a funny thing, the fear of missing out. It's a really funny thing because, um, you know, we are afraid that we're uh, there's always something better out there, right? FOMO becomes uh, a running away from the present moment, trying to get to somewhere else. That is not now. So it's really escaping um, what is present. It, beco it becomes a neurosis, neurosis almost. It becomes like an addiction. You always want to run towards the ne next thing, right? And it's too hard to just stay still and do nothing. Why the fear of missing out? Why do we have it? Most of us believe that the fear of missing out is justified, right? You think that it's justified, that you should feel it. And you're like... Oh, well, of course I'm missing out on something. There's like this crazy event going on today. But now I'm in my room doing nothing. Just uh, watching this video right now. I should be out right now. Uh, if you're watch watching this during the weekend, for example, you're like, you feel like you're missing out on something. So you feel like it's legitimate, right? That it's justified. And that is why you perpetuate the fear of missing out constantly in your life constantly you think there's something better out there because you believe that it's true that there's something better out there you believe that it is true well it's not actually true so what what is the typical uh stereotype of someone suffering from fear of missing out how do they actually behave how is their life like and I also include myself in this definition because I've had a lot of fear of missing out, uh, FOMO in my life. They are envious and jealous of other people. They're glued to social media a lot. They derive their sense of value and happiness and worth from external events and external things. They believe perceived value they take the perceived value of something as face value, as actual value, without actually digging deeper into understanding, okay, what's the actual value of this? For example, event number one, you go to this amazing party with like the coolest kids at your college, whatever, if you're still in college. Number one, right? That's event number one. Event number two, you stay home and you work on a project that you've always been putting off for months that you always wanted to do. Perhaps you want to write this book, you want to write this song, do this video, do this project, personal art, you want to paint something, whatever it is, right? The perceived value of going to the party with the cool people, that's like, let's just say like 8.5 out of 10, like whatever, like how, how epic it looks, right? To everyone, it looks epic. But the actual value of this party, like, will you remember this party like five years from now, right? Is it going to still, no, it's just going to be like a fleeting moment of happiness. So the actual value is like two out of 10, right? The second event, 
or you stay home and you work on that project, the perceived value of this endeavor is very low. You know, people are not going to see you work in your basement by yourself. No one's going to see that, right? Uh, no one's going to see you like, like hardcore working on this work in your room for hours on end. So the perceived value of this is probably like a, like a, a what, like a four out of 10, uh, maybe a five out of 10 if you post a picture of it on social media, whatever, you know, however it looks like, right? Because FOMO is a lot about perception of what's better, you know? Um, but something like this, the actual value, a 9.5 out of 10, because it's your actual passion. And five or 10 years down the road, when you will have mastered this field, you'll be like unstoppable. And the cool kids that were throwing that party 10 years ago, well, where they are at now, right? So always keep that in mind, right? Whenever you feel like you're missing out, like think about it yourself. Like what is the actual value of this, right? What is the actual value? Another thing that people with FOMO have is that they're afraid that no other opportunity will come their way. They have a very scarce view of how many opportunities will come in their life. Therefore, they only want to capitalize on every single opportunity that arrives now. Even if it's a shit opportunity, they'd, they'd rather take this opportunity than, than let it go and then basically... Um, because they're afraid to lose every single thing. Uh, it's perfectionist syndrome. It's like, it's like, you know, hoarding money when you just keep money and you never spend it. Or you hoard things in your house and you're unable to throw away uh, things, old things that you don't even need. For example, maybe you have a, you have a stupid uh, like t-shirt that's way too small from like 10 years ago. You don't even like the shirt anymore, but you're like, oh, in case I need it but you never actually fucking use it. You know, it's, it's all a similar pattern. Like you're afraid to lose. You believe in scarcity. You don't believe in abundance of opportunities. You don't believe that things will come your way. So then you're always chasing for the next thing, which does not exist now. Another thing with people with FOMO is that they're not grateful. They are ungrateful of things in their life. Meaning that whatever's happening in their life right now, they can't, they have a hard time appreciating what they already have right now. Because what they want is always outside of their grasp. So how can they be grateful with their life, right? Another thing with people with FOMO is that they have a very hard time making decisions. Because there's always a better this, there's always a better opportunity that will come their way, right? If they had the choice between, how, like, let's say three amazing events tonight, they'd have a really hard time, like, picking, like, the best out of the three. Because um, I know I had <laughs> so many things going on. I had to choose in the summer. There's, like, three festivals going on the same weekend. And then, like, because of FOMO, I just like burn myself out like on the third day i'm like oh my god i'm still out but i gotta go out so epic right and i guess all those festival videos i guess kind of you know it, it it arouses a lot of fomo in you right you're like oh man i i should have gone to more festival like nameless this summer i should have gone out i should have done crazy shit why didn't i fucking do it the first step with fomo is be aware of it if you run away from it, if you just, uh, you keep justifying it, uh, uh, it'll never go away. So just first of all, acknowledge it. Realize that FOMO does not serve you in any way. All FOMO does is bring about suffering in your life. Your things will happen without you all the fucking time. Without you. As we speak right now, there's probably millions of people right now that are out partying, having amazing fun right now without you. There are millions of people right now. Think about it. All the millions of people like 
you're having massive fun right now. Probably millions of people are having sex right now while you're not even doing anything. Millions of people are drinking and partying and having massive fun right now. Some people are talking with celebrities right now, like networking with them right now, and you're missing out on it. As we speak right now, there's zillions of people right now that are traveling, exploring the world while you are seated right here in your room or whatever place you're in watching this video glued to your cell phone, right? Glued to your PC. You're missing out on all this. Think about it. All those millions of people around you. So what's the point I'm trying to make here? <laughs> is that it? it's absurd. <laughs> this this fear of missing out on things is absurd because we are always missing out every single second of our life. And guess what? What we're missing out on, those people that we're envious of, they are missing out on what we are doing. So, you know, as I'm shooting this video right now, zillions of people without a life purpose, without something that drives them in life, are just lost and confused, going out and partying, um, not enriching their life in any way, while I'm here, working on what matters to me. Now, who's missing out now, right? Who's really missing out? Everyone else is missing out on what I'm doing now. How crazy is it? Think about it that way. Whatever you're doing right now, you with your life. That is the best thing you can do right now. Why? Because you're doing it right now. And whatever destiny decided that you would do this right now. Whether you believe in destiny or whatever stupid shit, you know, God. But whatever you're doing, you decided to do it right now. So can you, can you not do what you're doing right now? Is it possible to not live in the now? Well, you, it's impossible not to do what you're doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. It doesn't make any sense. But point being, there's no point in resisting it. We're here right now. You decided to watch this video, so you better commit. That's what I want to say. You know, it's fine to miss out on things. As long as you don't miss out on the important things to you. All right. Important things to you. You want to know really clearly what that is. All right, so how do you overcome the fear of missing out? Just make a decision. <laughs> Just make a decision. What are you going to do? Stick to it. That's it. Decision by definition. I think it's the uh, Latin origin or I don't know what origin it is. But anyways, it means to cut away something, to cut out. So when you decide on something, you're automatically cutting out every other possibility. Therefore, you are missing out on every single other opportunity. But you have to trust this decision muscle and trust your intuition that this decision is the right one. And dude, look, even if you don't believe it right now, even if you, you're not sure, you're like, oh, I'm not, I, th I think that's not the right decision. I'm not sure if it's the right decision. Just practice, practice this muscle. The more you practice the decision muscle, the better your choices will eventually be. The more you take decisions, the more you lead your life, eventually you will have this skill that no one else has of taking great decisions. Because guess what? Most people take shitty decisions. But you can learn how to make good decisions. And how you make good decisions? By fucking FOMO in the ass. You, you know, this is FOMO right here. This is your your penis. You fuck FOMO like this. That's how you do it. Ask yourself this. Do I do I want to do this? Because I'll be afraid of the repercussions of not going. Or do I want to do this and go to this? Because I genuinely really want to and I'm inspired to go. Just ask yourself this. Like, what are the, your motivations? behind going to a certain event or doing something. 
Because if your motivations are unclear, then your FOMO will take the best of you. And because FOMO is all choosing out of avoidance, right? Avoidance of the now. But when you can catch the avoidance, uh, the habit of avoidance before you do it, then you'll know. So next time, you know, okay, I was trying to avoid something here. But how about I go to an event, I do this activity because I'm just inspired to fucking do it for the beauty of it. All right, so on a concluding note, what should you do? A few practices you can uh, do starting today. Decision challenge. Every decision you make, yes or no. And do it quickly. Don't like uh, uh, contemplate it for hours on end. No, it's like, you have a decision to make, okay, do I eat cereal or do I eat a sandwich for breakfast? Okay, just just pick cereal, just pick something. You're like, okay, I'm gonna eat this. And the stronger your decision muscle, the less FOMO you'll have, because then then you you'll have so many events going on, and then you'll just pick pick one fucking event. This is the event I want to attend. This is where I'm gonna go. Fuck everything else. And the more you do this, the more you'll overcome FOMO, bitches. And don't forget, whatever you're doing right now is the right thing you should do right now simply because you've decided to do it right now. So thank you guys for watching. This is uh, John Killingsword, bitches. I'm going to make more videos soon, so get stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the fucking bell so you receive all my fucking videos leave me your suggestions because i read every single comment i reply to every single comment so yeah